when I was 18 years old, I, uh, instead of going to college right away, I went to the U.S. Air Force and I went away for a while. I spent about six years away from home. Uh, my parents were divorced at the time and I felt responsible to help my family, especially because my mom was a single parent. In the military, I received uh, station appointments in North Dakota, uh, South Korea, and Germany. And I spent all that time away from home. And when I returned, I enlisted in community college. And then I transferred over to USC, which was my dream school at the time. While in law school, I founded the Dreamer Fund in San Francisco, which is a nonprofit that focuses on fundraising for undocumented law students. One day, an underclassman came up to me at a student meeting. She told me her story that the law school was threatening to kick her out of law school for non-payment of her tuition. I really thought for a very long time, like, this is unreal, this is not happening, like, how could this happen? In that moment, we were able to pay for my friend Gabby's tuition for that semester. We formed the Dreamer Fund and we really focus on fundraising for the undocumented student population in law school. I wanted for the Dreamer Fund to be able to tackle this issue in a very direct and meaningful way. And so we do that now. And it's really important to have immigrant students of color, to have pathways to become lawyers or doctors or dentists or whatever else that they want to be in an equitable way where they don't have to worry about funding or trying to get private funding. I consider myself a rebellious lawyer and rebellious lawyering is a term coined by renowned lawyer and professor Gerald Lopez from UCLA who defines rebellious lawyering as the perpetual learning from others and commitment to growing as people uh, such that we cannot separate who we are from what we try to understand. I was trained under this model by Professor Bill Ong Hing of USF School of Law in San Francisco, who taught me to go into underserved communities and to really learn, open myself to be to to work with them, to to learn from them, and also most importantly to treat people with agency and dignity and to see clients as whole people, as people who are change makers, who have personhood, who have agency and autonomy. And when you practice rebellious lawyering, you will inherently know and believe that your clients are the ones who are change makers. They're the ones who will make the decisions, not the lawyer, not us. But we have to create avenues of change. Otherwise, dreams of becoming a lawyer wouldn't be dreams for me. They wouldn't be dreams that I can dream of because they would be for other people, other people that don't have all these identities and all the things that they are that make them whole and complete. My advice to new lawyers who are either struggling or interested in finding their way would be to really delineate and consider thinking about what your purpose is. And that's very, very, very important to me, especially because every facet of my life has really informed who I want to be in this world. It really stems from some tenets that I hold really near and dear to my heart, the values that I hold, which are compassion and humility and love and justice, but especially trying to spend a lot of time unlearning and then relearning, especially as it relates to self-love and self-compassion, which are the things that we're not really taught when we're young. And so I think that if you practice in this way with these type of tenets, especially self-love and self-compassion, then you are more than capable of exerting that out into the outer world in everything that you do, not just what you give to yourself personally, but also in your profession and to the people that you teach around you. I think for me the most important thing is that I saved someone from deportation, that sometimes we forget these things, these impacts that we have in other people's lives, that I just have to continue remembering why, why I do this work and why I keep fighting.